Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about some important question on antibiotic. This is very important topic in microbiology. For CSR NET, ICMR NET, GATE, NEET exam, the question related to this topic is very important. Some brief notes regarding the question and their related options are also provided here, which will be beneficial for you. So stay tuned in this video. Antibiotics are generally used to treat bacterial infection. Although antibiotics are used to treat bacterial infection, there are some antibiotics that are used to treat protozoal infection, but these are very few. Now coming to the question answer session. The first question, which of the following is an beta lactam antibiotic? Option 1 is penicillin, option 2 is tetracycline, option 3 is chloramphenicol and option 4 is streptomycin. And the correct answer is penicillin. Beta-lactam antibiotic examples are penicillin, amoxicillin, cephalosporin, monobactam, scarbopenems. Beta-lactam antibiotic contain beta-lactam ring in their chemical structure. They work by inhibiting bacterial cell wall synthesis. Next question. Penicillin G also known as option 1 benzyl penicillin, option 2 phenoxymethyl penicillin, option 3 phenyl penicillin and option 4 is propyl penicillin. And the correct answer is Benzyl penicillin. Penicillin V is known as phenoxymethyl penicillin. It is a phenoxymethyl analog of penicillin G. Penicillin G narrow spectrum antibiotic. Both penicillin G and penicillin V are naturally occurring antibiotic. Whereas amoxicillin is artificially antibiotic that is beta lactam antibiotic. Next question. The antimicrobial activity of vancomycin is due to the option A inhibition of nucleic acid synthesis, option B is damage to the cytoplasmic membrane, option C is inhibition of cell wall synthesis and option D is regulation of DNA supercoiling. And the correct answer is inhibition of cell wall synthesis. Vancomycin is a unique glycopeptide that is structurally unrelated to any currently available antibiotic. It has unique mode of action inhibiting the second stage of cell wall synthesis of susceptible bacteria. Whereas quinolones and fluoroquinolone inhibit nucleic acid synthesis. Polymexin damage the cytoplasmic membrane and quinolones regulate the DNA supercalling thus inhibit the bacterial cell. Next question. Which of the following is a beta lactamase inhibitor? Option 1 is penicillin, option 2 is calvanic acid, option 3 chloramphenicol and option 4 is monobactam. And the correct answer is calvanic acid. Bacteria develop resistance to beta-lactam antibiotics by synthesizing beta-lactamase, an enzyme that attacks the beta-lactam bond. Next question, which is the polypeptide antibiotic? Option 1 is bacitracin, option 2 is tetracycline, option 3 is streptomycin and option 4 is all of the above. And the correct answer is bacitracin. Polypeptide antibiotics are chemically diverse class of anti-infective and anti-tumor antibiotics that contain non-protein polypeptide chains. Examples of polypeptide in antibiotics include Actinomycin, bacitracin, cholestin and polymyxin B. Actinomycin D has found to use in cancer chemotherapy. Bacitracin inhibits bacterial cell wall synthesis whereas actinomycin inhibits the transcription. Polymyxin disrupts both outer and inner membrane that cause membrane damage suggesting a detergent-like mode of action. Cholestin is a polycatonic peptide that has both hydrophilic and lipophilic moieties. It leads to the disruption of outer cell membrane leakage of intracellular content, causing cell death. The detailed mechanism action of bacitracin, actinomycin, polymyxin B, cholestin is mentioned here. Just check it. Next, which is aminoglycoside antibiotic? Option 1 is tetracycline, option 2 canamycin, Option 3 penicillin, option 4 amoxicillin and the correct answer is canamycin. Aminoglycoside antibiotics are characterized by a core structure of amino sugars 
connected by a glycosidic linkage to a dibasic aminocyclitol, which is most commonly 2 deoxystreptamine. Aminoglycoside antibiotic examples are gentamicin, neomycin, streptomycin, tobramycin, amikacin, paromycin. These are approved by US Food and Drug Administration that is FDA and are available for clinical use. Next question. Erythromycin is a option 1 aminoglycoside antibiotic, option 2 macrolide antibiotic, option 3 mono beta lactam antibiotic and option 4 is peptide antibiotic. And the correct answer is macrolide antibiotic. Macrolide antibiotics are composed of macrocyclic lactone of different reading sizes to which one or more deoxy sugar or amino sugar residues are attached. It acts as antibiotics binding to the 50th ribosomal subunit, thus interfering the protein synthesis. Other examples of macrolide antibiotics are azithromycin, clarithromycin, etc. These are used to treat bacterial infection like pneumonia, pharyngitis, sinusitis and tonsillitis. Next question. Chloramphenicol is a option 1 broad spectrum antibiotic, option 2 narrow spectrum antibiotic, option 3 none of this and option 4 is all of this. And the correct option is broad spectrum antibiotic. Chloramphenicol inhibits bacterial that is microbial protein synthesis by binding to the 50 subunit of 70s ribosome and inhibiting the action of peptidyl transferase thus preventing peptide bond formation. This mechanism also prevents the binding of amino acid tRNA to the peptidyl transferase active site. Chloramphenicol initially isolated from streptomyces venezuela. It was used to treat cholera and typhoid. Chloramphenicol directly interferes with substrate binding in the ribosome as compared to macrolides which sterically block the progression of the growing chain. The bactericidal effect shown by option 1 bactylactam antibiotic, option 2 macrolide antibiotic, option 3 chloramphenicol and option 4 is trimethoprim and the correct option is beta lactam antibiotic. Examples of uh, bactericidal antibiotics are aminoglycosides that is tobramycin, gentamicin, amikacin, beta lactam antibiotics that is penicillin, cephalosporin, carbapenem, amoxicillin, etc. Fluoroquinone class antibiotics are ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin, moxifloxacin, glycopeptides, vancomycin, cyclic poly lipopeptide antibiotic, daptomycin, nitro nitroimidazole antibiotic, metronidazole. These all are bactericidal antibiotic that kills the bacteria. But the examples of bacteriostatic antibiotics are tetracycline, macrolides, clindamycin, chloramphenicol, trimethoprim, etc. This bacteriostatic antibiotic does not kill the bacteria. Rather, it inhibits the bacteria. Next question. Following antibiotics act by binding and inhibiting 30s ribosomal subunit. Option 1 penicillin, option 2 tetracycline, option 3 erythromycin and option 4 is streptomycin. And the correct option is streptomycin or tet tetracyclines. This is MSQ type question. Streptomycin and tetracycline both function as a protein synthesis inhibitor. Tetracycline inhibit the initiation of translation by binding to the 16S RNA of 30S ribosomal subunit. They inhibit the binding of amino acid tRNA to the mRNA translation complex. Whereas streptomycin which is an amino glycosides antibiotic primarily act by binding to the amino acid site of 16S RNA within the 30S ribosomal subunit leading to misreading of genetic code and inhibition of translocation. Whereas the erythromycin is a macrolide class antibiotic it emit bacterial pro protein synthesis. It mechanism of action it involves that uh, that the ability to bind to bacterial 50s ribosomal subunit, causing the cessation of bacterial protein synthesis. Next question: Streptomycin is produced by following species. 
Option 1. Streptomyces gracious. Option 2. Streptomyces audiofacients. And Option 3. Streptomyces venezuelae. Option 4. None of these. And the correct option is Streptomycin griseus. Tetracycline also produced by Streptomyces audiofacients. Chloramphenicol produced by Streptomyces venezuelae. Streptomyces produced, already discussed that, produced by Streptomyces gracious. Penicillin produced by Penicillium notatum. Griseofalvin produced by Penicillium griseofalvum. Next question. The protein synthesis inhibitor is option 1 penicillin, option 2 ciprofloxacin, option 3 erythromycin and option 4 rifampicin. And the correct answer is erythromycin. Whereas penicillin is, a, uh, is inhibit the transpeptidase activity that catalyzes the final step in cellular synthesis, the cross-linking of peptidoglycan. Penicillin is a bactericidal antibiotic. Whereas ciprofloxacin is also a bactericidal antibiotic that inhibit the enzyme topomyosomerase 2 and topomyosomerase 4 which are required for bacterial gene replication, transcription, repair and recombination. Ultimately causes the bacterial death. Erythromycin acts by inhibition of protein synthesis by binding to 23S rRNA of 50s ribosomal subunit in susceptible bacterial organism. Rifampicin is thought to inhibit bacterial DNA dependent RNA polymerase. Apart from the erythromycins, other protein synthesis inhibitors are cyclohexamide, pyodomycin, chloramphenicol. Cyclohexamide is a protein synthesis of inhibitor in case of eukaryotes, whereas the pyodomycin is a protein synthesis inhibitor in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes and chloramphenicol inhibits microbial protein synthesis the their detailed mechanism of action is mentioned here just check it the bacteriostatic effect shown by option 1 penicillin option 2 erythromycin option 3 acamoxicillin and option 4 is none of these and the correct answer is erythromycin the term bacteriostatic interviews used to describe the medication whose mechanism of action stalls bacterial cellular activity without directly causing bacterial death. For example, tetracyclines, macrolides, clindamycin, trimethoprim, chloramphenicol, etc. Whereas bactericidal antibiotics are antibiotics that kill the bacteria. Examples are mentioned here. Just check it. Tetracyclines are contraindicated during pregnancy because Option 1. It can cause abortion Option 2. They can affect teeth and bones of the fetus Option 3. They cause excessive postpartum hemorrhage And Option 4. Is all of the above The correct answer is The effect teeth and bones of the fetus Tetracycline can affect bone development and discolor a developing baby's teeth They are not recommended for use after the fifth week of pregnancy. That's why in case of streptococcus patient, if the patient is pregnant, uh, then uh, tetracycline, which is the drug of choice, is not used. Rather than azithromycin is used. Erythromycin is used. Sulfonamide must pose a small risk of heart condition, cleft lip or palate and jaundice. Sulfonamides are generally avoided during first trimester of pregnancy and near the time of delivery. Gray baby syndrome is produced by Option 1 streptomycin, Option 2 chloramphenicol, Option 3 tetracycline and Option 4 is amoxicillin. And the correct answer is chloramphenicol. Chloramphenicol causes the gray baby syndrome. The gray baby syndrome is characterized by abdominal distension hemodynamic collapse and ashen gray skin discoloration. It is a condition in which infant experience a life-threatening reaction to the antibiotic chloramphenicol. It is more prevalent in premature infants since an adverse reaction is directly related to the liver's ability to break down and process the medication. Next question. Which of the following pair is incorrect? Option 1 is beta-lactam antibiotic, methicillin, 
Option 2 is aminoglycoside, that is penicillin. Option 3, polypeptide antibiotic bacitracin. Option 4, macrolide antibiotic chloramphenicol. And the correct answer is option 4, macrolide antibiotic chloramphenicol. Because chloramphenicol uh, is not a macrolide antibiotic. The examples of macrolide antibiotics are azithromycin, clarithromycin, erythromycin. Whereas aminoglycoside antibiotics are streptomycin, canamycin, amikacin. Polypeptide exam antibiotics are bacitracin, actinomycin, polymyxin, B, colistin. Fluoroquinol antibiotics are ciprofloxacin, ofloxacin, levofloxacin, gemifloxacin. And clonal antibiotics are nalidixic acid, pipidemic acid. Nearly all quinolones, quinolones antibiotics are fluoroquinolones, which contain fluorine in their chemical structure. Match the antibiotics with their mode of action. Here in the right side, uh, five antibiotics are mentioned. One is rifampin, second one is quinolones, third one is polymyxin, fourth one is vancomycin and fifth one is sulfonamide. And in left hand side, the mode of actions are also mentioned. A is denegarase inhibitor, B RNA polymerase inhibitor, C cell wall synthesis inhibitor, D folate synthesis inhibitor and E is inhibit cell membrane. From this you have to choose the uh, and here four options are mentioned and you have to choose the correct option. Rifampin, it, uh, it uh, inhibit the RNA polymerase. So for one, it is B. Just check which in which option one is B. In three and four, one is B. Next is the quinolone. Quinolone is a DNA guidance inhibitor. For two, it is A. In in between three and four, in option three, two is A. So definitely this this option will be correct. Next check for the another uh, antibiotics action. RNA polymerase inhibitor is rifampin. DNA guidance inhibitor is quinolone. That is quinolones are ciprofloxacin, ofloxacin, etc. Whereas polymyxin is a cell membrane inhibitor. That is it inhibits cell membrane. That is three is E. And 4 is C. That is 4 C means vancomycin is a cell wall synthesis inhibitor. Vancomycin, bacitracin, these two are cell wall synthesis inhibitor. Third is sulfonamide, that folate synthesis inhibitor. Sulfonamide, trimethoprim, both are folate synthesis inhibitor. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel.